Go get your brushes, go get your paint And this is how you do it, it's so shiny way I'm gonna teach you, be ready to learn Cause when I'm done, it's your turn Take your time, steady in You can do it by, so she can And tomorrow, watch your clothes And when I'm through, oh, I might have a go Take your time, steady in You can do it by, so she can And tomorrow, watch your clothes And when I'm through, oh, I might have a go A week, hey, miniatures Hey guys, we are live and it is Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis and welcome. It is Wednesday, the day before I go to ReaperCon. So I see some of you guys in chat were asking me if I was already at ReaperCon and I am not. Obviously, I'm in my studio, but I will be there tomorrow. I'm going in the morning. So hello, Belos, Rebel Star Raider, Lamunus, Artie Wolf Spear, hello, Palace of Pep. Um, Artie Wolf, let's see, I already said, Valthorn Illion, I'm not streeping from ReaperCon, I'm in my studio, I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> I can't, I don't have the ability to stream from remote places yet. It is something I'm like thinking about working on though. Alright, let me, let me check to see what people have to say. Hello to Lamunus, hello to Artie Wolf, hello, hello Spear, let's see, uh, Rudy Wolf says, um, 
Saw Badger Airbrush ad for Dragon Con today. Looks like you're going to be busy for the next month, lol. Yes. Yes, I'm going to be busy. It's crazy. I'm going to be teaching at Dragonfall Con in Illinois. That'll be um, in October. I believe it's pretty close, though. Yeah, it's, it's busy. Um, good evening, Robosh. Looks like a lot of people are on tonight. Good. Maya Nara, hello. And look, Protomaker is here. Can you say something, Protomaker? Hello. Can you guys hear him? Let me see some hello. thumbs up. I think you can yeah, see. Yeah, thank you, yeah. hear me. Okay, awesome. So, good. Hear All right. So we're going to be painting chibi, chibi aliens today. They are a, a very, very cute. This is the queen. These are from Impact Miniatures. I was thinking we could work on this, um, what is it called? Not, it's not a mobile suit, it's her power lifter. That's it. I think we're gonna work on her power lifter to start. No, just one butt. Exclamation point butt. <laughs> yes, Lamunas. Hey, Artie Wolf. I'm surprised Lamunas didn't do the, the exclamation point butt. He Dead. knows better. Oh, he knows better? He knows better. If I'm actually here, he shouldn't do it. Protomaker has been designated the rank of Shoshi Husband, Supreme Troll, and Tech Nerd. That's changed. Did you just change that? No. It's been that way for quite a while. <laughs> Sassy Mike. Sassy Mike, is everybody's happy that you're back. You're getting all your little commands going with the chat. All right, let's flip to the other screen. Um, so here's our power loader. It's a little blitzed out from the white balance but I think we can make it work because once I color it, it's gonna be good. I've got my airbrush. Let me see if it's all ready. Nope, yep, oh good, it is ready, but there is a little ink in there first. So we're gonna be airbrushing this guy first, the power loader, with a little bit of ink. And hold on a second. I think we're gonna start, we're gonna start with this ink. This is blazing ink and it's it looks like it's orange, but it actually, if you do it light enough, it will read as yellow. And that's what I want for the power loader. I just need to get some gloves and some paper towels. I see you, Lumunas. What'd he say? Mike is bad influence. He did it. Ha ha. All right, I got gloves. I got my mask over here. There we go. And I'm going to get some other yellow ink just in case I need to switch out. Okay. I think this will work. We've got... Dalarowni ink in addition to the blazing ink and I think the com combination I think we'll be also adding some maybe some brown sepia ink as well I'm not sure yet so first of all let me ask chat because this is the first time for me really airbrushing yellow has anybody here painted I'm sure one of you guys has painted yellow before and everybody says it's a difficult color so this so might be... You just pour it out of the bottle and you put it on the brush and then you put it on the model. Done. Yellow. Mm, yeah, that's... He says that, right? He says that, but we all know yellow is not that easy. Does anybody have a recipe for painting yellow? I'm going to start light. <laughs> Are you sure you want me on stream? I do. He's going to troll me and this is going to be interesting because we'll see how long he lasts. How long I last. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Just build it up and don't rush side. it is what Bolo says. That's what I was thinking. Dip it. <laughs> yes, get a gallon of goldenrod from Home Depot and dip it. No. All right, let's start with this yellow, and then we can add the blazing ink after the fact. I just don't want to, I don't want to rush it like Bolo said. All right, the mask is going to go on, so I'm going to be muffled. Mike can translate. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Mike is a very awesome co-host on the awesome. show. You're so awesome, Mike. I sound, now I, I sound like a... Oh, uh, now look what I look like. I look like that guy from uh, Mad Max. Mike, what's the guy's name? I have no idea who you're talking about. The guy Chrome from guy? the Mad Max with the, the big ugly guy with the weird mask. The boss guy? I don't, yeah. I don't remember his name. That's what I look like right now. The I've dude. heard brows, browns to yellows. So I don't want to do dark to light because it'll be too difficult. Yellow is an extremely <coughs> transparent color. Yeah, dark Shoshi, exactly. It's extremely transparent. Some folks use pink. Huh. Shoshi Bane. Yes, exactly. That's what the B stands for. All right, we're gonna try the we're gonna try this ink first because it's lighter. We can always go darker. We can't go lighter. So we're gonna start 
with this ink. I'm going to put it in the airbrush. Just a few drops to start. Wait. There we go. All right. This dropper is not cooperating. It might be plugged up. I've had these inks forever. Yeah, it's completely plugged up. Look at that. It's not even taking air in anymore. Hold on. We're going to have to do surgery. If I, if I can get a pin that'll go down in that. Here, maybe this will work. Oh, yeah, you can totally see that's clogged. Ew. All right, let's try that. Yellow already resisting being painted. Exactly. I know. Okay. There we go. That's better. It's still plugged. All right, I don't think we need much. Yellow is so strong. You're probably weird. You would highlight white, then tint it with the inks. So it's already highlighted white with our primer. So you are on track. That is a good, that is a good thing. All right, I'm going to try this. Okay, so let me get a paper towel. So I always do a little spray to see how that's pretty watery. So we might need to adjust because the inks have, we've got this little dealy right here. Let's turn it all the way off. Ooh, that wasn't off. That was, that was all the way on. Okay. There we go. So low, you want a low PSI with inks. You want a low PSI with inks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's oh my see. gosh. <laughs> the gunk in the dropper might go into your airbrush. That Well, luckily it didn't go in there, so hopefully it'll be okay. Ooh, that's working. Okay, I'm just doing short little bursts. I'm just covering the white primer to start. So far, so good. And like I said, we've got we've got everything white primered already. What's the advantage of using ink? That it doesn't clog your airbrush as much. That it's easy to it's really easy to um, cover if you need to go over any mistakes. And you can layer it really nice. I think ink layers really nice. Okay. So far, so good. It's looking good. So 50, got it. <laughs> they are highly pigmented, transparent. You don't need to thin them. Yeah, that, that, that also is another reason. That is a good reason, too. They're really easy to clean out of the airbrush, I think. They take, there we go. All right, everything is turning yellow, that's good. Now, this is not gonna end up being solid yellow because in the aliens genre, everything is kind of in the dark. So we're gonna end up making this a lot, lo a lot more gritty looking by the end of this. We're gonna weather it and do some stuff to it. Okay, it's looking good. It's getting yellow. See that? They are clean. Yes, they are very clean colors. I agree. I think it sprays nice through the airbrush also. You get good coverage with the, with the ink. No splattering. Right? FW inks are what Luminous used when they did 2D illustrations. Oh, yeah? Awesome. They're very high quality inks. Uh oh. They're Basic very cool high the... quality inks. What? They're very high quality inks. Oh, he's translating. I get it. All right. That's step one. We're going to clean out the airbrush now with a little bit of our awesome spray through cleaner from Badger. I love this stuff. Where's my little flat brush? Somewhere here. 
just get that clean off the edge of the... Now, because this is yellow and the next color is going to be darker, I don't have to have it 100% completely clean because the next color is darker, right? Dump it. All right. So if there's a little yellow left in the cup, it won't hurt it. because next color is gonna be this orangey. Although I'm debating that maybe we should go with the brown. What do you guys think? Brown, let's do transparent brown. Actually, let's do ink tense, ink tensity chestnut. I think, um, now I'm debating. Let's do a little bit of this. Let's do a little bit of orange. Just so we have some kind of mid-tone. So it'll be very light though, very, very light. Brown, you, you think brown? I think a little bit. We're gonna put the brown on top of this. So it'll like be warmer just a little bit. Cause right now, I feel like if we put brown on top of the black. Noga677, thank you for the follow. Have I tried metallic inks? I have. I think you should have went the orange, then the yellow. I almost think you should have gone the orange. Well, but the ultimate color is going to be, you'll see. I have a plan. Noga 617 just started following. I did, I saw that, thank you. All right, there's my orange. Let's warm this up. Now I'm gonna hold this at an angle. I want to spray this from below and I'm going to be very light on this. See, we're going to add that orangey color to that. I think maybe the brown. See how it's getting nice and looks, it actually makes the yellow look more yellow in a way. I like that a lot. Nova 617, how are you? Welcome to the channel. We're practicing our airbrushing and we're also painting yellow, probably for the first time in an air with an airbrush. Okay. It's getting good. Now there's little bits. I just noticed like right there, I'm gonna take that and that. All right. Things need to dry just a smidge. Let me put a little bit more orange in there. I'm just using a little bit of thyme. So I just have a tiny amount in there because I don't want to go crazy. See how I'm, I'm shooting from underneath and that way, that way I get my shadows a little bit more than my, there we go. Oops. There we go. Starting to get shadowed. Hair dryer, yes. We'll hit it with a hair dryer in a minute. Okay, it's getting that warm, kind of uh, cautionary yellow, right, that we like to have on. There we go. And this, this looks pretty good. I don't even know if I wanna, I don't even know if I wanna go darker than that. What do you guys think? Do you think I need to go darker? Let's do the hair dryer. Give me one second, I'm gonna mute myself. Can I deafen? Is that gonna work? Test, test, test. Nope, you can still hear me. I think if they your can. Your meter bars are moving. They can still hear you. They can still hear me. How you am I gonna that mic, mute your mic? I and did. Then they shouldn't hear you. Well, but they can hear me through your mic, I think. No, because no? it's just one input. Nah, just weather it. Okay. I do want to add just a little bit of brown. So I'm gonna do a tiny bit of the chestnut ink because I just I want it to be a little bit warmer, a little bit darker. We could also do a little purple. I don't know if that would help it or not. Let's clean this out. 
He said just weather it. <laughs> okay, dump. Weather it. So weather it. Cool. You'll pretend you can't hear me. What? Yeah. It's pretty loud, the hair dryer. How did I mute myself in the past? Why can't I mute myself it's now? It's the microphone button on your pad. Hmm. Oh, okay. Test, test, test. Now can they hear me? Yes, they can still hear me. It's it's all jacked up though. That's why I think something happened in the switch over mic. See, look. Doop, doop, no, doop. Yeah, it's, yep. so just click the button here. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Can you guys hear me? They said they're, they're trolling me now. Now you can hear me <laughs> in stream. I can't hear you. All right, we're going to add a little bit of chestnut ink here into our cup. And of course, it's plugged up. So what kinds of things are you wanting to see photos and things of while I'm at ReaperCon? I'm, I'll try to do some videos, but every time I, the music sounds like the Doom song. The, the Doom song. Oh, wait, that is really plugged. What's going on? There we go. Hopefully that works. Yes. What in the world? I'll try this one more time. I don't know why this ink has gotten such a big... There. All right. While I'm at, while I'm at ReaperCon, I'm really hoping to have some yummy Texas barbecue. That's my goal. I will take pictures of the barbecue for you guys. You're going to sing the Doom song now? Wrong Doom song? I love you. No, you no, up. stop. <laughs> All right, so there. There's our more brownish, brownish oranges color. I'm going to put my mask back on. <laughs> All right. All right, we're set now. We can airbrush our brown. Into the crevices. Ooh, I like that a lot, except for it's a little bit dark. That's okay. I need that. That's looking cool. What do you think? That's looking cool, isn't it? It's the Peanuts teacher again, exactly. Yeah, wah, 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 wah. It's me, Mike. Oop, it's out. Is it out? Or it's just got a little dry tip. Okay, that is what it needed. It needed that little bit of brown. What do you think? 
That's nice and yellow. They call me mellow yellow. They call me mellow yellow. <laughs> All right. That's good. I think that's good enough. I think. Ooh. All right, we gotta clean that out. Yeah, it looks cool. So now you can paint all those Space Marines yellow that are supposed to be in your army, right? With ink. That's the trick. Remember to Zenithal Prime it though. It won't, won't work as well if you don't Zenithal Prime. If you try to paint yellow over black, forget about it. Okay. I made that look easy. I've never done that before, so. That, that was a p impressive, even, <sighs> okay, Get that last little bit out there, ooh, dump, and now we spray. How the Giga Lion counter go? Oh, Mike, do you want to talk about this a little bit? Since what? I have my mask on, do you want to talk about the Giga Lion encounter? Yeah, it was fun. It's nope. a really good demo set. I'm not sure. We'll have to see when we play tell, with our actual campaign. Tell people a little bit about it since people don't know what that. It's just a special extra large lion. Well, it's a little bit more than that. So I liked it because um, I was. So, okay, I will say one thing. I was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. It, we, we beat it. I was really expecting to die. Now, that being said, jeez. That being said, the characters that they originally give you for the Giga Lion are already pimped out. They're, they're already... Uh, they're well-equipped, but they're not, like, crazy pimped out. No? No. Well, they're definitely not like a first, no, first year lantern year care. You know, it still has some yellow in it. I got this little dump pot. Have you guys seen these? I got one of these a while back, and I never use it. Now I'm gonna. That's much better. That there's a lot less vapors in the air when you do that. Okay, that works. All right, now. I feel like we're ready to brush paint this now. Willows wants to know if people will pay for lessons at ReaperCon or will you just have a miniature wish list the door for people to buy for you? So they do pay for lessons, but they don't pay me. Because um, I don't get paid for my classes at ReaperCon. I, um, they fly you out if you are invited to be a teacher and they pay for your um, hotel and, and your badge and, and, and your meals. So it's kind of like a, you become a guest teacher, that kind of thing. But, uh, but yeah, the people will um, buy tickets through ReaperCon, and ReaperCon makes that money. It's part of the whole experience. All right, I'm pretty happy with this, especially for a very, yeah. All right, so now, what do you think for highlights? Shall we do a little bit of... Maybe pastel yellow? What do you think? Pa pastel yellow? This is fantasy. This one is, let's use, let's use Tanir yellow and see what happens. Will you just have a miniature wish list at the Zor? <laughs> no, um, I actually probably won't buy any miniatures while I'm there. I have so many miniatures right now that I have to paint that I don't want more. Let's just do a little bit. Yeah, that was the right color. That little bit of, I gotta switch brushes. Okay. So the whole experience of ReaperCon, what's so great about it is that you've got a chance to just hang out with the artists. They, get, they kind of put people at these tables um, around the room and you can just kind of, you can sit down with them and just chit chat. And it's a, that in itself, and then there's a, a dinner where you might sit with the, with the artists as well. I can't remember if, if, that, if there's like some kind of VIP dinner. Do I have, 
though I do have to say going to miss seeing you and, and taking classes at Nova, um, I have to say that Nova, Nova was another one where I didn't get to get to charge for classes. It's a charity, so they don't they don't do that. But um, yeah, Nova was different than any of the other um, any of the other conventions I've ever done, and I think it was just a little bit high paced for me. I think um, for me, I'd like to have a little bit less that I have to do at a convention then or at least have a little bit of I don't know how to describe it it was just not it was just not for me that's the best way to say it unfortunately I don't know if I'll return to Nova for that reason I'm just gonna put a little bit of chestnut ink in here because in some ways making making things darker will actually make the rest look lighter if it'll come out, it won't come out again. There we go. Just a little bit. So yeah, I would, um, I'm planning on being at a, there's gonna be a convention I'm gonna be at in, um, when is it? It's next October. It's in gonna be in Pennsylvania. It's in, outside of Philadelphia. So if you want to see me in the in the wet East Coast, that's that's the best way to catch me is to come to come to King of Prussia. I think that's the name of the town where there's there's going to be a convention in October. So, but you can always you know arrange to have me flown to your city, and then I can come and teach in your city. This is. This is Payne's Gray right here, and I'm just going to use a little bit of this in the shadows to add a little darkness because things were not quite dark enough in some areas here. It's okay. I'll have to come out to Gen Con. Yes. And I'm always going to be at probably those. Ooh, did you see that line I just made? That looks amazing. Gen Con and, and uh, Adepticon are cons I always go to. So you can you can definitely catch me at that. I'm just gonna look real quick at my reference. I have a reference of Ripley's Ripley's power loader. It looks like, yep, she's got a black chair. So I'm gonna use this Payne's gray ink and I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna just paint the whole thing here. It's gonna be a little on the shiny end, I think. We'll see if this works. That's the thing about inks, is they dry shiny, so we might need to change things. Let's get let's get a paint instead. Because that's not working. Let's do, hmm. Let's do a dark color. Hmm, Bissell Blue. We'll do Eclipse Gray to start and see how that works. And then we can put Payne's Gray down in between the cracks to make it look more like it's black. So what are some other cons that I should try to attend? Because I always try to go to at least, I mean, so I won't probably be going to LVO. That one is, I'm not a Las Vegas person. That's the other thing. Ooh, look at that. That looks awesome with that gray. Let's paint the whole whole chair part right here, gray. And then we can go over it with the, the Payne's gray in a minute, or the black. I'm really looking forward to doing um, boot camps. That's something I'm gonna be working on. My very first boot camp is gonna be in Indianapolis. And it'll probably be I'm gonna try to do it with Aaron Lovejoy. We're gonna try to do a tandem class where the two of us teach. And then there's also a chance that I might be able to do a tandem class with Matt DiPietro. That would be, um, if we did that, that might be in the Bay Area, which I would love. Okay.
This is coming out good. Are you going to say, get away from her, you be? <laughs> you be at least once while painting the power loader is I, I see you know the the movie so much better than me I could say it get away from me you be no that's not how it goes <laughs> get away from her oh get away from her okay I messed it up already sorry <laughs> get away from her you be is she talking to the queen when she says yes. that okay wait we got to do it with the queen where'd she go we gotta put Ripley. Ripley's like, get away from her, you bee. What? <laughs> Do you see that? Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll tell Matt, you say hi. Yes, Matt DiPietro is my buddy. Say hi for me. Say hi to, um, if you see my friend Devonian, tell him that I said hi. He's usually in those people's classes, so. The main reason why I went, the number one reason why I went to, to uh, El, uh, Nova last year was so that I could get a chance to take a class from Roman, Roman Lapot. It's about the only time that he is in the States because he doesn't really come to teach that much except for at Nova. And unfortunately, I was so exhausted from teaching my classes and I was like so starving. I only got one class with him. And, oh, that looks good. I like that, I like it. All right, real quick, I'm going to look at the power loader one more time. I just found the part that has the different colored um, stripes. You're surprised there isn't a chibi new. You know what? There isn't. I was surprised too. So this is what, there's two, two sets. There's the power loader and I think the power loader comes with the queen and, and it comes with this, um, this Ripley right here that sits, um, in here, right? And then there's another set here that comes with the different um, Xenomorph, which I finally got this one primed, different Xenomorph um, stages, like of the flesh, what's it called? Face hugger. The face hugger egg, then it's like blooming, and then it's crawling out, and then there it is right there. So those are all, that comes, and then there's two of my, of these guys, which those came out awesome, I love those. Rawr. Okay, definitely, yeah, definitely let him know. Okay, um, yeah, I'm just gonna do another quick layer of that. Now, I'm gonna use Decay Black. I got all my paints organized. Sophia came, came over and we cleaned up my studio and I got all my paints lovely organized. Okay, I just noticed that these claw things are gonna have stripes as well. Chibi Hudson and Hicks and Bishop would be cool. You know, maybe I'll tell them and maybe they'll make some. All right, so let's go with the black on here. Can you guys see that? Do every other one. Ah, I just messed up. There. Yeah, it would be cool. A cool dial. Hi, Sinner. How are you? Let's do that a little bit darker. Cute. Okay. There we go. Let's do the inside of these little panels so that looks darker. I do have my glasses off. I will put them back on in a minute. Speaking of glasses, I don't know how, but I completely lost them earlier today. I left, I think I must've left them on the counter and the cat knocked them off the counter. And if, unfortunately, because I didn't, I can't see anything without my glasses. Um, I didn't know where, he, I didn't know where they got knocked off. I couldn't remember where I had last put them. 
Mike ended up finding them in the living room, not the living room, the dining room area that we don't really even use um, on the floor, which was really weird. All right, that looks good. Yeah, I have dropped something. So when will we see you teaching in the UK? Spear, I would love to teach in the UK. We just need to figure out a way to organize it. It's gonna be expensive though, because I gotta come to the UK, right? I also need a visa. Um, we need to look into the laws because I'm not gonna break international laws of trying to work in a country, in a foreign country without, you know, without some kind of, some kind of legalness, right? Some painters will do it, but I am not the one who will do it. I'm very, very careful. So I did find out that Canada has rules. If you are teaching, uh, or if you are um, leading a seminar or public speaking in Canada, you don't need a visa so long as that your public speaking thing doesn't last more than five days. So that's awesome because I could, I could definitely teach, if that's the case, I probably would only need some kind of letter of, you know, what I'm doing from my, from my hosts. All right, I'm just gonna go back in here. I'm blackening, I'm dark lining basically with this black. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of my Tenere Yellow to my gray to highlight, to make a lighter gray. It'll be a nice warm gray. And then I'm gonna highlight the tops of these little seat cushions. Right? So that's the reason, that's the, like one of the reasons why I didn't end up um, teaching while I was in Australia is because I, I didn't want to get a visa. We wanted to just have some vacation time. There we go. I would love to teach it at, um, in the UK or anywhere in Europe actually. Once, um, so I'm currently working, I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but I'm currently working on um, getting my, reclaiming my family's Polish citizenship by descent. And once that happens, it might be a lot easier for me to teach in Europe. Unfortunately, as we all know, Brexit is making it really difficult for that whole thing to stay in the EU. So unfortunately, I'm probably won't be able to do that if they don't stay in the UU. Aw, Mark Goodwin, thank you. You should buy a boat and travel the world teaching in international waters. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a sea person. I'm and Mike is more of an air person, so what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Could you imagine a boat amp of Jan Flick and you in England? That would be really cool. I would do it, but probably just once if, to make sure like I couldn't get any, look at how this highlight looks. It looks really awesome. Um, but yeah, that would be fun. A triptych and we'd have to have Rainer too. I wouldn't do it without Rainer. So it'd be a, all triptych. Uh, ooh, we could do a cruise. <gasps> that we we could do that we could pull off a cruise class. What do you think? Would you guys go on a cruise with us? It'd be really hard to do painting on a cruise. I think. No, I don't think so. The boat's big enough. I don't think it rocks that much. All right, just hitting the very tops again with that light. This is the yellow, Tenere yellow. See that? What? How is Brexit related to Polish citizenship? How is it related? Brexit is related because if I were to get my Polish citizenship, I could teach anywhere in the EU. 
Brexit is related because England is leaving the EU. Uh, not sorry, England. The UK is leaving the EU. And so therefore I would not be able to teach in the EU. That's how it's related. Sorry. <laughs> so I wasn't being clear. Teach off your own barge as long as there isn't what? <laughs> no virus. Oh my gosh, she's Lunas. Crazy. <laughs> I don't I definitely want, don't want to teach on a no norovirus cruise. What happened with that? I don't even think I I was not in on the news when that happened. Oh, a few times? Yikes. I finally got that plug out of the ink bottle. Ah, that's how it fits. It doesn't matter too much. You just go to Germany. Oh, that'd be awesome. Well, I would love to teach in Germany. Germany is, I mean, I fell in love with the, I'm using my brown ink now. I'm just gonna go here and line a few things. I fell in love with the country while I was there and the food it was really good. All right, I, get, I think the air, so the airbrush is, makes, makes ink painting so much nicer. That works too. You'll just stand by Dover and cry, I'm sorry. Stand by Dover. <laughs> I know. Um, well, you know, maybe, maybe they'll change something and they'll work out some kind of treaty with the EU and then they'll still be able to let people go over there without visas. Who knows what happens? Who knows what's going to happen? I'm just talking out of my booty right now. <laughs> pigment pirates, pigment pirates, Hamburg, or cultivate might be able to work something out. Oh, mm, you think? Because my my experience is that other painters don't really like it when you come to their turf. They, I don't know. That's just my experience. I've had had some interesting experiences. I, I once um, had a plan to go um, teach somewhere and one of the painters that I knew got really upset about it, but they didn't talk to me about it. They just, um, yeah, they just, I just found out about it and that wasn't fun. There we go, getting the, this is working out good. I like that because that looks, so I colored in I think I need a color in both sides. There we go. I think this whole part needs to be blackened. That gives it that, looks more like a power loader now. You went to Germany in May? It was diverse. <laughs> was it? <laughs> That's such a bad joke. Ah. Uh. I love Wurst. It's about all I can eat when I'm in Germany, except for the, um, I can have a donor box. It's basically like a donor kebab, but it's in a box. It doesn't have the pita bread. I can't have the pita bread. And Germany is a country where they just eat a ton of bread. So it's a different, and like beer too. I can't have beer either. It's not your experience in Europe. Wait, it's really not my experience in Europe. In Europe, we're normally just happy for sharing knowledge. Oh, good. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is like that, Citizen Null. I think things are much different. Um, I think you're used to having a lot of painters in a short, in a small area, also. All right, I'm looking on the back here. Ooh. Don't hold your breath about that. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Don't hold your breath about that one. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Wow. Woo. I'm not gonna read that out loud, Mark Goodwin, because there's a lot of stuff in that that some people wouldn't maybe disagree with, so. But yeah, man. You voted, okay. 
Oh yeah, wouldn't it be nice to retire somewhere nice? I, I couldn't, so the, the, the awesome thing about Polish citizenship is, you know, having the EU as a possibility to be able to teach and work in. Um, the downside is that I couldn't, I don't think I could live in Poland because I have seasonal affective disorder. And unfortunately, um, like basically Poland is the geographical equivalent of Canada, which is very far north. And I already have issues. I already have issues with um, with how how far south or how far north Illinois is, and I really need to be in some place that's um, a lot, a lot brighter, a lot, a lot less, or a lot, at least drier, where it's not so, um, not so cloudy in the winters. That's for sure. Cyprus is nice. Yeah. Anywhere sunny would work. Portugal, Cyprus, Greece, um, Spain even. I think Spain's not too too cloudy in the winter. All right. So let's see. This is my black. I'm going to attempt. Let me look at the, my... I'm um, going to look at my power loader. Okay. All right. I got to do the stripes going this way. And I'm just gonna freehand these. I don't know if this is gonna turn out or not. So we're gonna do a little prayer circle and hope that this is gonna work. So if you're gonna live anywhere in UK, Europe, anywhere, where's the best weather? Who has the best weather? And that's probably going to start a fight in my chat, but we'll see what people have to say because I'm curious. What your opinion, what is the best weather? Illinois does not have the best weather. Um, it's all very cloudy um, in the winters so that it's, it gets very gray. And we have a few seasons. We have summer winter and rain those are our seasons in, in illinois although this year we've been having very little rain all right that's looking cool what do you think do i need to do i need to pull this down tell me if you think i need to pull that down to the sides or not or just leave it the way it is i actually think i like the way it is let's see what people are saying about the weather Portugal, Spain. Oh. The new premise breaks well. Oh. Geeky Girl says, I have the same problem. I'm also really pale. You have a love-hate relationship with the sun. Portugal, Spain, or Italy. That's where the nicest weather is. See? I think Portugal. Lemuda says, I just want to retire somewhere where I don't need to worry about pain. <laughs> uh, so like maybe maybe Florida Florida gets muggy my sister lives in Florida oh okay so I'm trying to do this straight and it's very difficult there we go this is something I would recommend taping off if you if you have some kind of mask But like I said, we're just going to freehand it. We're going to pray and make it look good. Make it work. If we need to, we can do this to kind of cheat. That'll make it look more even. Actually, that really worked. Let's do that again. Both sides. All right, that looks so much better. Yeah. My airbrush agrees. All right, let me know if anybody's saying anything, Mike. We're t we were talking about the best weather. In Model the Newbie says hello. Model Newbie, hello. 
Artie Wolf says, I've lived in the Netherlands, Germany, and Spain. I would say Spain would have the best weather for you, especially southern Spain, close to the Mediterranean. Yes, Italy is expensive. Okay. Geeky says, Geeky says, I love winter. I have a hyperthyroidism, so I'm very intolerant of heat. Ugh. Oh, Shoshi Bot says, remind you to talk about the pain along. Okay, let's talk about the pain along real quick. So today is probably, let me just check my calendar real quick. Um, uh, let's look at the calendar. Here we go. No, it's not gonna let me open the calendar. Why not? There we go. So the 7th of September, so I will be streaming two more times before before the end of the deadline, but do exclamation point, um, what was the, paint along. I think it's exclamation point paint along. If you can't click on the links, um, you can go to my profile, directly in my profile, you can click to the, um, the links to the model that we're gonna be working on. I'm gonna pull this up in chat for just a second so that you guys can see it. Model hey. Model newbie got it. Model newbie got it. Okay, so I'm gonna. The form. Okay, I'm gonna pull up the form real quick. Should have a picture, okay. And I'm gonna pull up the abyssal. Let me see. So like I said, it's in my profile. The group order, the group order form is in, is the one that Model Newbie just, was it Model Newbie that just pulled it up? Hang on one second, I'm gonna get a picture of the model. So if you guys haven't seen it, group order for Abyssal, hold on. Google Docs. Okay. There we go. So the, the model is um, a bust that we're gonna be painting together. And what's awesome about it is that we will, um, we'll be doing this on stream. It'll be before the end of the year. We're gonna be throwing up whips in the whip gallery and on Triptych, it, there, we've got a whole little section of it called Paint Along. Here's the, oh wait. Where's the photo? Here we go, it's in the Discord. So, that link that we just had is the group order, right? Okay, so here's the link to the Discord. I think it'll, bear with me one second. Uh, I'm gonna cut and paste this into chat so you guys can open it. Um, copy. Hopefully this will work. All right, here's the Discord link. That should take you directly to the channel, but if not, you're gonna scroll down in the Discord and you're gonna look for Paint Along, and there's gonna be a Paint Along info and Paint Along, um, yeah, so check, click on that. It'll show you the picture. I'm gonna bring this up on on screen so you'll be able to see this. All right, where's me go? Let's see, group order and paint along. All right. Okay, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you guys this on screen. Take a look at this. All right, you can see this is my Discord. I've got it open over here on the sidebar here. We've got group order web form and group order info. And on the info, this is the web form. Here is a picture of the bus that we're gonna be painting and it's called the Ancient One. So if you are in North America, now listen, don't fill out that form unless you live in North America. So this is Mexico, Canada, US, because the group order is specifically for North Americans. Everyone else who lives outside the US is gonna be getting a coupon code. And I will give that to you as soon as I make, as soon as I place our order, I'm gonna give you that coupon code and I'll be posting it in this group. I'll be posting it on my profile. You'll be able to go directly to Abyssal and, and purchase the model. They'll ship it directly to you. You're gonna have to pay for regular shipping. 
but if you live in you know Europe it's not going to be too bad it's definitely going to save the North Americans a lot because shipping to us is way more since they are out of Spain no he's out of Italy I think he's out of Italy so yeah let me see if you guys have any questions real quick I'm gonna so here is this link to the sign up form if you want to reserve your copy we um, we currently have seven 17 busts on order I think if we get a total of um, hang on one second let me pull this up again if we get a total of 30 busts ordered he's gonna give us another discount okay let me make sure I have any questions so it has to be somewhere you can get a pot oh the moon is. I didn't know you were going to talk about that. <laughs> Lamunas, just come to Illinois in, in, a, in a next year. That's when you can get it. All right. And let's see. All right. So everybody else, if we get 30 bus, it, it says everything. It's going to cost $50 U.S. plus shipping. Shipping will be calculated after the bus arrive in the U.S. So that that is that. Does anybody have any questions? Any answers? <laughs> if you're close, you'll order two. We're very close right now. So, so um, I was going to order a couple extra in case anybody missed out in the U.S. and wanted me, you know, want to order one from me, or even after the fact, somebody might want to get a couple extra. So yeah, we're going to get. Um, I don't know if we're going to get close to 30. Right now we are very close to 20, which is perfect because we need to have at least 20 ordered to get this discount for the $50 because that's also already reduced. So, man, I want to, but I have so much stuff to paint already. Yeah, I understand. The, 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 go the good thing about this, this uh, paint along is that if you do it with us, it's going to be done before the end of the year, the end. It's going to be done. We're gonna all work on it together. So having everybody work together, showing off their whips, participating in this. And um, one other thing I wanted to point out is that when we do the paint along, it, the, the videos will be subscriber only, but I will eventually put those on YouTube. But it's like, I figured I wanna be able to reward those people who subscribe to me. It's also a way to kind of um, kind of pay me for my efforts for you know this whole paint along it's they're they're very difficult to organize and a lot of work so educational exactly hi Maha how are you and now so let me go switch back this is what we're working on Maha we're working on Ripley's power loader there's there's our chibi Ripley she's so cute we've been doing a lot of airbrushing. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this highlighter because I'm a little OCD over here. I feel like that needs to be fixed right there. There's a, there's a tiny, tiny chance that I will take this model with me to Reapercon. It's only tiny because I just, mm, I have enough stuff to take. I don't know for sure if I'll need it. There, I think that's good enough. Wait, let me take my glasses off and look at that. Woo! Yeah. Good enough. All right. I keep reminding myself, finish not perfect, finish not perfect. Don't worry about the perfect. That's the downside of when you think you might be taking something to a convention you start going into hyper focus, hyper critical mode, and that's not always good. Fly Fisher, thank you for subscribing. Where is my pen? Here we go. We're gonna, I forgot to put some subscribers. By the way, September is coming, so if you're gonna subscribe, maybe, I don't know if you can, you, you can't buy more than one subscri subscription in a, in a month, right? I was gonna say, it would be awesome if I could do my paint along in September in September but it's not going to work out probably be it's probably going to we're going to try to do it before 
before I'm trying to get the coupon code to everybody for sure before October because we want to be able to um, there we go and it's fly Fisher one zero two one zero two two that way, if any kind of Brexit um, things affect anyone, hopefully they can get it shipped to them before it, that shipping cost hits them. That's my goal. All right, good, good, good. Let's do the other side. So I think let's do, we're gonna do it the same direction so I'm going to do the same thing in this corner here. This is tricky because it's all freehand, right? Am I entering a piece in the painted pink? All right, I want to show you guys. And you need to build me up because I'm all stressed out about the painted pink co competition because there's going to be a lot of amazing painters entering it. And I know it doesn't matter, but Michelle is my best friend, guys. and. I have to enter something. So I have this guy. He's not done yet though. I've got this sword to finish and I there's just little stuff that I need to finish. But this is what I was thinking for Painted Pink because look at, doesn't he look like he could embody breast cancer, right? Like he like looks like he has it. <laughs> Oops, Twitch, forgot about Twitch. There we go. So I need building up. I need to know that this is acceptable, that this would be okay to take. I feel like I need to finish stuff on it. I'll probably work on the sword and everything before I, before tonight. Paint it pink, paint it pink. He looks awesome. Yeah, do you wanna see the back? Here's the back. I worked on him a lot this afternoon. I'm trying not to stress out about it though. Yeah. So, well, that's what I want to bring. He weighs a lot, and I'm worried about tra transporting him. I have no room in my case, so he'd have to go in a box in my suitcase, so I'd be nervous. We'll see. You can do it, Shoshi, and yes, he looks like he would embody breast cancer. Yes, I know, right? He's, cr he's creepy. There's some, I've already know about, like Marika Reimer's entering it. She's crazy good. And I know I shouldn't compare myself and I should just do it because of, you know, um, but what I don't want to do is be like, have the worst painted model there. He looks cancerous. You saw Aaron with his piece with him. He has a piece. Yeah, everybody and their mom is painting a piece. So I can't not paint a piece for it. But I, I don't feel like this is my best. I don't, I don't like to enter competitions unless I feel like it's my best. I don't like to enter competitions at all, much less enter something that is not my best. You can hear me, you can hear my negative critic, right? So mean, so mean to myself. And it would be cool if it was just like a funsies project, right? But it's not, it's my best friend. How much pink is on Naoti? Oh, that's a good point. There's a lot of pink on Naoti. Her whole hair is pink. Oh my gosh, Lamunas, I think you just saved me. She is, she is definitely eligible for painted pink. Oh, I like that idea so much better. Cause I feel like I did a good job on her. What do you guys think? Should I enter the, the bloat guy? Should I enter this guy or should I enter Naoti? The beautiful, the beautiful one. <laughs> now one, one, a little bit more appropriate for breast cancer, but one is absolutely definitely painted to my normal level. Your votes for Naoti, the beautiful one. Yeah, that's what I think. I think that's a good thing. Okay. <laughs> we got three votes.
I agree, Naoti would be perfect. Yeah, she is pretty. I'd feel better having, even, even though I know she won't win, she will still be my better, the better of the two works. Yeah. All right, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yay? Nay? Let that dry. Let's paint the other. I feel like that needs to be lightened up a lot, right? Let's lighten it up. Let's do, hmm. Let's find some yellow, 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 like Saul yellow. It is completely, that has never been opened. Hang on, I gotta find a pin. You seem happier with the work and that's more important. I think so too. I, I am, so I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I don't know why, but I've been having, I've been having a lot more anxiety about going to conventions than I used to. Um, it probably start, it started after my dad passed away, just anxiety in general, and I've been having a tough time. Um, in fact, part of why I'm, I'm, I'm having the most tough, you know, tough time with Nova is I had a terrible anxiety attack while I was at Nova, and it kind of colored my whole experience of, of the whole time, which you can understand. Um, but yeah, so I've been having, and so I've been having anxiety today about, about ReaperCon, even though I've been there twice. And it's, you know, awesome. But yeah, thank you, Maha understands. Maha is, I've been talking to Maha about it. She's been coaching me. It's been awesome. <laughs> Everybody gets anxiety from time to time. I just feel like I don't know, like I said, after my dad passed, things, things, things were not the same. A little bit more difficult for everything. <laughs> okay, for whatever reason, this yellow is not, I think it's just been sitting in this bottle for too long, so I'm gonna give it a, a good shake. Master Kung Fu, Kung, Kung, wait, Master Fung, Fungi. If it's any consolation, I can't drive out of town myself without having panic attacks or just being anxious, yeah. Yeah, Michelle will be there, that's huge. Geeky Girl says, I, I'm so sorry, I have terrible and sometimes debilitating anxiety. Before I went to Gen Con, I didn't sleep for weeks and had anxiety about it, oh, I understand. And But you know, it's the worst, the worst part for me is that this never used to happen to me. It's, it's a new thing, it's only within the last two years. Um, and so it was like when I realized, oh, this is anxiety. It was a huge, it was like a good, it was a relief because I was like, okay, now I know it's wrong. Now I just have to figure out how to fix it and get, get back to the way I was. It, it, it does feel better knowing that I'm not the only one. I really appreciate that, it really does. Yeah, yours was never this bad until you moved to the States. Yeah, maybe there's just something that like a switch that gets flipped, right? That's kind of what it feels like. If you figure out how to fix it, let me know. Yes, I will. <laughs> we will tell everybody. <laughs> I have not heard of cases of people saying, oh, I had anxiety and now it's gone forever. I've not heard that yet, unfortunately. Oh, I like that highlight on that. That looks good. You got hit by the, hit on the head by a car. Uh, batter storage lit, ah, it happened ever since. Okay, so it is, it is caused by something then, generally. Yeah. A car battery, a car battery storage lid, ouch. And then ever since then you had anxiety. Alex, Alex King says I have anxiety and probably have it forever. I'm pretty much in control of it now. That's awesome. That's so good. 
I am a big proponent of taking charge of my mental health and like being proactive. So I'm gonna be working on it for sure. Just talking about this is making me feel better about it. I have to tell you guys, thank you so much. Auto Fire, thank you for the raid. Welcome everybody from Auto Fire, how are you? Mad love, hopefully you had a good stream. Painting Ripley's power loader. Do you know Ripley from Aliens? Look at this. Rawr. <laughs> so that we're almost done with it. I think we're almost done with the power loader. I mean, I don't think we need a ton on this. I feel like it looks pretty good. It's pretty cute. You deal with chronic adjustment disorder, anxiety, ADHD, or the tied to your time in the military. Oh, yes. I've heard about that too. You were diagnosed with PTSD, depression, and anxiety. It will get bad, you can find, you know, I'm so glad you guys are here. And I love the fact that we can talk about this, there's no stigma. I don't believe in stigma for mental health, that's why I'm talking about it openly. It's just the way it is. It's like if I had, you know, like I, like I have gluten intolerance, it's just how things are, <laughs> you know? You're doing well, how am I doing? We are good. We're, we're painting the power loader chair that is so cute. The chibi is adorable. Look at her, she's like Rah! And then she's got her two little soldiers. These are the soldiers. Oh. I've got too much on my desk. This one is without teeth and this is with teeth. And then we've got all of our little eggs and things we haven't painted yet, but we're in the middle of the power loader right now, which is super cute. Now I'm just cleaning up my stripes a little bit. That's better. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, we did, we were gonna paint the, the lighter stripes over here, just real quick. You want that alien? I got it from Impact Impact Miniatures at Gen Con. You can go to, I think they have a website, Impact Minis. Um, and you can get it from them. They've got two sets. They were not cheap. They were not cheap. I think I paid for all of these minis. Well, I guess if you think about there, there's a lot of minis. All of these minis were like $80. But look at, there's so many. But you could get one set and it would probably be a lot less. But if you're a big Aliens fan, that's not a bad deal. For all of them, you get two Rip. So Ripley comes with each set. I think it's either Ripley and the, the little face hugger guys and these two, I think, is one set. I think that's one set. And I think the Power Loader and the Queen are a second set. And did you guys see the cage? There's a little cage. We're gonna put that on too. That's gonna be so cute. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? So I should, is there, I don't know, is there a cheapy predator? I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna do a diorama because I already glued everything down. I guess I could if I could take them off. I feel like I'd, I'll, I'd rather do them as a, a chibi or as a unit. I think that would be a hilarious unit. Don't you? Uh, nobody, uh, very few people enter unit and I think I like to make, I like to press my, what, so like the last unit that I entered, it was, um, what was it? It was, um, the last unit I entered was, I entered a bunch of busts, like five busts and it, it was like not your normal unit, which was funny. Now, if I have a category where I can enter the bust category, then I'll enter it in bust, but I don't think there was a bust category for that particular competition. All right, that looks really good. Let's do it on this side as well. Give me one second and I will check chat. There we go. Get that nice and light. Okay. You guys are awesome. 
Mental illness is such a prevalent thing in creatives. It is. You're so right, Citizen Null. The best part is that everyone knows about it, so everyone will understand. Some considerable part of anxiety is concerned with other people's thoughts and reactions, and there's just no need for that part. Try to remember that. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's so hard. I'm doing better now that I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> Geeky Girl Games, Google Power Loader Impact Miniatures. There you go. The whole set is 140 AUD, which is a great price. Yeah, for all of them. I'm still here. You're still here? <laughs> he does go silent, but he is paying attention. He's watching. <laughs> he, 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 you gotta poke him a little bit, yeah. Hi, Maharoon. <laughs> Why are you doing that voice? I don't know. No, it's don't. Mike ASMR. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Black Skull says, "Is this going to be a standard up stand up chibi paint or another bug hunt?" What? Ah, uh, you're so bad with your puns, but your puns, Black Skull. It was the yeah, it was the Breaking Bad busts. All of those four or five. There were five of them. Mike is creepy. Yes. Hi, Mike. <laughs> Mike tired, Mike tired ASMR, <laughs> or he tried it, he tried it. All right, I'm gonna look at my reference real quick. This is painting up so fast since we airbrushed the power loader. If I would have had to pa paint this power loader by myself, you know what, I need to fix this over here. Oh no, we'll just leave it as weathered. We'll just say it's weathered. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and look at my power loader. Okay, I do need some oranges. Okay, let's see. Let's try painting in some oranges with my ink. I don't know if it's gonna work. We might need to use transparent orange or we might be able to mix, mix a little bit of an intensity orange with, I gotta open that. All right, I'm gonna to try to make it an orange ink and see what happens. We'll do one drop of red, and I think I'll try just the flat, flat paint and see what happens. All right, let's look. Now red is very strong. Ooh, all right, that's really, really red, isn't it? That's really, really orange. All right, there we go, that's better. Now, that's really, hmm. I'm gonna add a little bit, a little bit of purple to that because we need to calm down that intensity. Sorry, a little bit of brown. We'll add a little bit of brown. Intense chestnut, just a drop. Oop, oh my God. <laughs> just a drop. Oh, did you see what I just did, Mike? All right, we're gonna try this. Let's see if I can add this into the yas. Okay, that's good. That was funny. I'm glad that you guys got to see that. <laughs> Did you see Mike? He didn't, he's not watching. Mike. Oh well, I lost him, guys. What? <laughs> Sorry, I put my other ear cup on. Oh, we what were, were talking to me? you. There we go. There's my orange there. We were. I just um, blurped way too much. Um, that looks better. That, so we did need the orange. Just a little bit. Hold on, I gotta see chat. What did they say about that? A big drop. A big drop. Not shiny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Just say no to Mike ASMR. Please think of the children. <laughs> Sent an eBay link to Enla Munas for the Chibi Predator Mini you came across a while. Oh, good. Did uh, Lamunas, did you post that link? Can I see it? I wanna see the Chibi. Chibi. Predator. 
Is it from Impact or is it from a different company? I want to say Impact has a Predator also. I'm not sure about that though. I think there's a set of three Chibi Predators from AVP. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. How satiny did the yellow, it's, it's a little satiny. It's not too bad. It's a little satiny. The black is more satin, actually, yeah, no, it's a little, you can see it's a little satiny. I might have to hit it with the, um, with the other, there we go. I'm gonna put that in there. Might have to hit it later. Ah, now I'm getting it on stuff. Oh, I'm seeing other places that need black. Hang on. This little spot right here has to have black. Rather than have a hole, they just left it to be filled in. But I think that's okay. I think it works. Let's do all those sides here. Oops. There's a nice under underpainting here. This is the uh, dark lining, essentially. There you go. Oh, I forgot the black over here. Real quick, I'm gonna get those stripes. So Whatever what? it is, Model Newbie, you can send it to me. Oh, Model Newbie sent it? Awesome. I wanna take a look at it one second. And I'm gonna paint this black here. Cute. Get all the little things there, those little rivets. Okay, let's look at Model Newbies. Link. Shall we, can do we, will you, did you send it to me? Mike? No, Can you? I haven't gotten it. Oh, you didn't get it? No. Oh, Model Newbie, you need to send it to Mike. I think not, and Lumunus fell asleep. Oh no, he's there. He's trying to post links from his cell phone. It doesn't work. So yeah, Mountain Navy, send it to, send it to, send it to Mike. That'll work better. All right, I'm gonna look at this cage. The cage is also yellow. Do. Hmm. Well, what we're gonna have to do in order to paint this yellow um, is, oh man. We're gonna have to paint this white with the airbrush. Hopefully this will work. We're gonna use some of the Pro Krill. Oh wait, that's not the right white. Poop. So let's, let me find a good matte white that we can use. Let's try the Scale 75 white. I'll shake it. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of thinner. Don't spray the dry. Don't spray dry. So for those of you guys who missed the early part, this is the same. This is the same thing we did to to paint the uh, power loader. So we're going to use the same technique, although we're going to add this white because. There's a link. Awesome. Let me look at this link real quick. Of the predators. Pita. Yes, it means pain in the tuchas. We say tuchas here. Oh my God, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so big though compared to, it wouldn't go with these. That is adorable. Hey There's two of them. What's hey Nothing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add white. We're gonna spray this cage so you guys can 
get a demo of my yellow all over again. Mm, I need thinner, just a smidge, just a smidge. There, two drops of thinner, and then we're gonna mix it. I don't recommend, ooh, see how thick that is? I don't recommend mixing in the cup for exactly this reason. Put more thinner. We want it to be the consistency of airbrush paint, right? So it's gonna be, ooh, it's chunky. Oh, this is gonna cause clogs. All right, well, just like, again, prayer circle. We'll see how this goes. Did you say prayer circle? I did. I say that sometimes. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do, on stream. Lies. Who, don't I say prayer circle sometimes? Never heard that you say that before. I do. This is not working. Now see now see how it's making this. Mm. Oh, you know why? Because we have to we have to dial up our PSA. P S I. P S I. Public service announcement is what. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go slow. Okay. I'm gonna go around here. This is in order to get our yellow, right? Because you can't paint, can't paint yellow over black. It won't work. You need a tuchus counter, please. Okay, thanks. So, Mike, if you want to copy the command that I have in there for um, schmutz, we can make a, a tuchus counter. I have access to the bot from here. Oh, you don't. That's right. Well, I'll have to do it next time. I gotta put my mask on. I forgot to put my mask on. PSA is also, what? I'm not gonna say that. Prostate, not prostrate. Oh. <laughs> you still didn't get it. I still didn't get it. Okay. Um. Can, let's see if I can do this so you can see it. There we go. By the way, do you guys want me to mute while I do this spray? Does it bother you? Because I don't have to do that. Michael, who is that mass Shoshi? We didn't even get a chance to thank her. Okay, let me let me click my mute button. So, mm -hmm. stop. Move the other minis. You're right. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm give him five points. I might give him more than five points. Okay. Fifty gold stars. <laughs> That's a lot. That's more than I ever give out. Dang. <laughs> oh my god. You're rich now. <laughs> I know, right? Now everybody's gonna tell me to move the minis, Mike. You know that I usually only give out five, right? <laughs> when mixing when mixing in the cup, it's a good idea to start with two or three drops. Yeah, I had a little bit of thinner in there. Not the water, though, I had thinner. It will fill the pipe between the cup and nozzle. Make sure that thinned, unthinned paint does, oh yeah, good. So since I had the thinner, it should be okay. Now give him some time to spend them. <laughs> All right, <laughs> do we want to do a little giveaway? We've got something to give away. Shall we do give a giveaway? Away, give it away, give it give away, give it away, now. give it away now. We got, we, got a, we got something to give away. Wow, thanks. I can just imagine how she would be if we got overspray. Yeah, I would be upset. All right, I'm going to go get a giveaway for you guys because this is fun. I like this.
All right, I've got a giveaway here. I got a creature caster model for this is going to be a follower giveaway, which you will be able to use chat points on. Now, notice if Artie will win this, then everybody can tell me rigged because it will be if he does. It'll be crazy if he does. All right, this is the warrior. Wait, warrior demon. I'm going to show you what this model looks like. Hold on. All right, it's never been opened. I have to open it. Um, do I have scissors? Mike, would you grab me a pair of Oh, wait, I got an exacto blade. That's fine. Oh, Mike. Thank you, Bolos. There we go. You were thinking, but you never use a sprayer, so you didn't really know it was a thing. Yeah. I, there, it, overspray is a thing. In fact, let me show you what I mean. Overspray. Look at this. So this is overspray right there on my keyboard. <laughs> it looks like it's been drop kicked. What's been drop kicked? Oh, the box. The box has got a little squished in shipping. All right, look at this. So this is the warrior demon. He is really cool looking. He's got a lot of pieces. So he, let's see, this is from Creature Caster. This arm goes here. He's got this cool sword. It's got like this. I was gonna save this for my giveaway for um, my follower giveaway for, on, on the first because we have a follower giveaway coming up, but I've got some other cool stuff to give away for that. So you guys will have to tune in both times. Plus, I don't remember when the last time we did a giveaway on Wednesday was. It's been a while. So anyway, there he is. And he's got these crazy wings. He's he's really dynamic and really cool. He's got he's got horns. So you're gonna love her. Love him. Did I clean out my airbrush? No. I will set up the bot and then we'll we'll keep spraying. These are just little pieces that I don't think go to anything, but I'm gonna put them back in the bag just in case. They're just little, there we go. All right, I'm gonna do follower giveaway. Let's see if I can do this through this bot. Bear with me. Shall I do a little spray just to make sure that Yep, everything's good. It's not drying up. All right. Hmm, there was a thing here I could do giveaways. Well, maybe it's this one. Might have to use the other bot. Hmm. Yep, let's use, okay, we gotta use the other bot because it's a, it's a points giveaway. We've got to use Phantom Bot anyway. All right, giveaways. Ticket raffle. Hold on. And this is the Warrior Demon from Cre Creature Caster. Warrior Demon. Ah. Hard to type in gloves. Does anybody? Warrior Demon. All right. Okay, and then we got five max entries. Five, you can buy five tickets. Cost is 10. And we will open the raffle. Let me just check followers only. Got to be a follower to enter. Got to have chat points to, to buy tickets. All right, there we go. Let's see. Did it work? The ticket raffle is now open. Buy up to five tickets with exclamation point. Tickets, you can now, you can purchase multiple times. Tickets cost 10 gold stars to enter. You need to be following to enter. Yep. 
So all that means is that Artie Wolf automatically has enough to get five tickets because he has 50 gold stars. Right, Mike? Did I do that math right? Something like that. Something like that. Okay, I've got my mask, which somebody didn't see that I dropped it. <laughs> Waits for it, wait, waits for it to announce the Vampire Bus giveaway. Did it do that? Uh, I hope not. It probably will, though. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> we have a thing where the bot still is stuck and say, so announces the Vampire Bus giveaway. All right. Wait, Maha posted something? Where is it? Did she post the, the warrior demon? What I miss? I missed something that Maha posted. <laughs> All right, I guess I missed it. Hi, Creature Caster, you just showed up. We're doing a giveaway. We're giving away the um, the Warrior Demon from Creature Caster because um, Artie Wolf <laughs> got a bunch of chat points and we thought we would do a surprise, surprise giveaway. <laughs> this is what we're painting right now, Creature Caster. Maybe you guys could do some kind of alien-esque figures. This is chibi. Cheapy Ripley and super cute, isn't it? Ta da! That's just adorable. Nothing posted? You can, oh, the King of Ecstasy. Yeah, Maha's King looks fantastic. I ordered some more stuff from Creature Caster that we're going to be able to give away on the channel again. So guys, keep keep in mind we're gonna do another follow follower giveaway on the first, or sorry, not on the first, but when I get back from ReaperCon, we're gonna do another one. You have a sixth sense, you do. <laughs> It is funny, like, it's like you show up right whenever we start talking about Creature Caster. It's weird. It's like maybe you watch the stream. <laughs> All right. So this Anul says you don't really have to wear a mask when you airbrush with acrylics. Well, I disagree. Um, Unless you already have asthma and other breathing problems, which you do sometimes. I disagree completely. I'm sorry, Citizen No, but as an artist that has worked over my lifetime with lots of toxic stuff, you know, um, once stuff gets in your lungs, it doesn't ever get out. So I'm just not going to take the risk. Right? Safe and healthy. It's just a good habit to take. All right, I need a little rinse. And also, this isn't something that we're going to debate on the channel either. It's just, this is how I do it. Okay? If you don't want to take care of your lungs, that is your thing. But I'm going to do, I'm going to do me. <laughs> yeah, resin dust is very bad. It's extremely toxic. Always wear a mask with resin dust and part, anything particles. Let's see here. Yeah. All right, I'm just trying to get the last of that little white out. 
this stuff is like almost pure alcohol also and so it also has like fumes you know it's not just it's just it's not just acrylic because the thing is i'm airbrushing thinner also and it has all kinds of warnings all over this contains two butoxyethanol that you don't want to be breathing in like would you drink it if you wouldn't drink it you won't want to you don't want to breathe it <laughs> why is it when the raffle post it says 10 gold stars but then the bot says five afterward probably because i messed it up not a movie 10 gold stars so how does that work there's a math to it that i don't quite understand mike do you know no Think you need to think about your respirator and evacuation situation in your shop and garage. You're going to get airbrush for your leather work and you need to be very careful about atomized leather dye. Ooh, yeah, that's scary. So, hang on a second. I want to show you what you could do. Um, I don't know if this will work for your shop. Whoops. Hold on a second. So, Diomedes, I want to show you in my studio here, right? Oh, you can't quite see it, can you? Let me see if I can turn my camera a little bit. There we go. Right here, there is this hose, right? Right there. And then behind it is my airbrush booth. Like you can see these marks from my mask. So the airbrush booth sucks the particles in the air from the airbrushing through the hose. And then I vent it out into the window. That's what I'm usually doing when I'm doing a lot of airbrushing. Um, so yeah, the, 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 the times that I'm airbrushing in front of the camera, it's not very much, so I wear my mask. But I always wear a mask when I'm doing that, and I, and I pump out the air so that it's not all in here, right? And even the little bit that I'm doing in here is probably not good for these plants and geckos. But um, I try, try to minimize that. Thinner is very different, yeah, if your mask, but if your mask only have the grown stripe, it might not protect you from the thinner, from the, yeah, where's my mask? Let me just set it down. Yeah, I wear it, I should put both of the straps on, right? Yeah. All right. You should get a booth, you have a crazy mask. The mask straps really bring out your cheekbones. Yes, they do. <laughs> oh, the bot is saying I'm demonstrating my classes. That's, that's already passed. I forgot to delete that. Please move the power ladder up. Yes, we'll move that up. Okay. Thank you. Um, let me check. Did I put a timer on my bot? Hold on. We don't have a timer. But did everybody get entered? Is everybody entered? Raise your hand if you did not enter the raffle and you want to enter it. <laughs> if everybody's entered, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a winner. Sound good? She plays KDM, which is <laughs> you're welcome. Yes. It is, isn't it? All right. I need to do this. Where's my little dump pot? I've been using this. This thing is awesome for catching fumes. I love it. There's no fumes when I use that. Enter for the giveaway. Amberton, what are you doing awake? You're, it's so late. <laughs> We're doing a giveaway of a model. Um, and... Um, it's a ticketed raffle, so do exclamation point tickets, and then you can buy up to five tickets. You gotta do exclamation point. Oh, it still has white in it.
Mmm. Citizen Nell just said that the that the sides of the mask have stickers. So this vapor organic vapors P100 is what it says. What? P. Keeps out P shows. No, Mike. Don't be like that. It's the uh, so these are NIOSH. They're NIOSH um, approved, so that means they're very high rated. Filters with the brown stripe is the most common and the only one that protects against, and only protects against. So these have black, black stripes, I guess. I don't know what that means. Mike is a bad influence. You just got the butt, Mike. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Amberton is barred from entering. No, he's not. He can enter. It's funny that he showed up just when we were talking about the giveaway. Okay. Did you guys, did you enter? Evan Warped entered. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. I'm trying to get the last of this paint out of my paint. There's still white paint in it. That means that I've got a little bit on my needle. Paint out of your paint. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on one second, I'm gonna dump this. Let's do this one more time. Oh, you can't post the link. Unfortunately, citizen. You can whisper it to me, though, and I can look at it later. What in the, That must be clogged. Something is not right. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's a big blob. There's a big clog of white on my needle. All right, let's try it now. Hmm. Hold on a second. There we go. It's still not blowing. What happened? There. Haha. <laughs> Is that your timer or my timer? That's my timer. Okay, let's take a peek. I think we're all entered, right? Everybody entered? White is the worst to get out of everywhere. So I just learned that. Black should be good for what you need, yes. The itching from whatever toxic plant woke you. Oh no. Try some um, Benadryl. That'll help you sleep too. All right, let's let's do the let's do the giveaway. It's probably gonna say Vampire Bus, but we're gonna close the raffle. And the winner is Auto Fire. Auto Fire, you won. Are you here? Are you present? Let us know if you're in the in the in the chat. You gotta be present to win. I don't like I don't like hunting people down. Yay, auto fire. Send me a whisper either here or on Facebook through at Show She's Minis. My Facebook page is on, or you can send it here. Do and, it. Uh, let me know if uh, you're trying not to faint. <laughs> this might, is this your first time winning something <laughs> on, on Twitch? Yeah, that's so cool. Um. Whisper me your info so we can get this shipped out to you because I'd like to send it to you. Yep. All right, I think. Hold on, I'm gonna check this airbrush. I feel like there's still white in there. Yeah, there's a little bit. Ugh, there's a lot actually, hold on. I should, if I would have known that white was the worst, man. Let's use this brush and a little bit of 
Okay, so here, this is my little secret weapon. It's paint killer. It's from, from uh, scale 75, and it really, it works on everything. It's just awesome. I'm gonna just put a few here. I'm not even gonna use that. I'm gonna use my little squeegee pipette somewhere. I don't know where my pipette went. Dang. All right, I'm gonna have to, oh, there it is. A little bit in there, just a little bit. Oh yeah, that kills it right away. So paint killer is pretty strong. It, it, it will clean out anything. It works even better. I, I wouldn't use it all the time in your airbrush because it might mess it up. Let's do this. Let's go straight down here. Yes, something like this at least. Oh, do you, li do you mind if I ask you if you live in the US? It's relevant because shipping is much cheaper for me. Um, I've had to go to either paying for my own shipping or have people donate shipping. Speaking of which, if anybody would like to donate shipping, I will gladly, gladly accept it. Yes, you do. Awesome. That makes it so much better. It's much cheaper in the U.S. I don't mind paying my own shipping in the U.S. because it's a lot better. All right, I'm going to put this needle back in. Uh-oh, there we go. Okay, good. Tighten that up. Yes, it's clean. All right, the paint killer worked, guys. Now we've got to put some yellow back in. And I think I'm going to go with ink intensity yellow because I don't want to have to clean out the FW. Oops, I'll take that out. Actually, no, I'm not going to go with that yellow. That's a completely different color yellow. Let's go with the FW. We're going to put a little bit of this in first, just like, just like Citizen Knoll said. If you just put a little bit in to start, it will... Oh, wait, there's still white in there. Rawr! I can see it floating. It Sometimes it makes like... Can you guys see the little globs? I don't know why it does that. It's It mixes with the, I think that's probably the paint killer that's making it make globs like that. All right, let's try this one more time. Amber Dawn says apparently that Badger has some new cleaner. Yes, that's what we've been using and it's great, but it was have, we were having trouble with the white. The white was not not being cooperative. All right, I'm just gonna put some of this in. Yep, I'm using it. It is, and it is really awesome. I do love it a lot. Oh, that just put chunks. All right, let's not, ugh, hold on. Ah! <laughs> we finally got those chunks of ink out. Ugh. Ah, all right. This is really old ink. That's how come it got all up in my, up in the squeezy, the stopper, the, ru the rubber stopper. All right, we got yellow paint everywhere. Throw that away. Schmutz. We have schmutz. FW inks are what you used on your demon chick's hair. Awesome. All right, we're ready to airbrush that. We're just gonna boop, 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 boop. All right, I'm gonna put my mask on so I'm not a big hypocrite. <laughs> is the Steinle was right primer? Is that the snow? What we used white was the scale 75 white and it was clogging things up because I mixed it in the cup like a dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Nine many times, Mike. Ooh, that's awesome. Why is it sounding like that? It's clogged. You think? 
Sounds like it. Yeah, it does. There, that's better. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Alright, that was not a good thing to hold on to. Let's see. Hmm. Hold on a second. Let's put this cleaner through here. Did you guys hear that sound? That crackle? Mike can hear it, right? Mm-hmm. can hear it. I can see stuff floating, so that's not a good sign. That means there's some kind of clog going on. <laughs> Get that. All right, so I need my dumper. Sometimes I like to blow it in, maybe too late, but a needle lube, yeah. I do have some. I think it might need some. Let's take this out. We have needle juice. You find white primer sticks to the needle. I agree, it does. Yeah, there's just little little pieces of schmutz on the end of this needle here. Let's do this. We're gonna put with my paint killer. Do that. That will get it off for sure. <laughs> It's like fine, it's like very fine particles are stuck to the end of that needle. Can you hear that little squeak? Okay, that's better. The needle is, is, is not bent, so that is a good sign. Let's see. I don't want to put that needle back in until I clean this out a little better. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Dump, dump, dump. That was a bad idea, Shoshi. I should have left the needle in because now it's dripped on me from the back and that's bad. All right. Let's do this, let's blow it out so that way, there we go, much better. Little trivia here, white is blotchy and ill-behaved because it's titanium oxidy. Yes, titanium oxide is very prone to clump together and there's, uh, uh, there's four other kinds of white pigment, zinc, which is terrible, terrible coverage. And then you make white pigment out of lead. Yeah, that's not good, or cyanide. Yeah, those, no, neither one of those are good. Lead and cyanide are not good for people. Yeah. Yeah, in the makeup world. That's because in Model Newbie, they used to use lead makeup. Oop, why did I do that? Oh my God, that is a lot of paint killer. Here, I'm gonna do this because I don't even wanna, well. Hold on, I'm gonna get my dump pot because this is gonna have bad fumes. <gasps> now it's, that's not good. Why is it, it's not supposed to do that. White lead is a fantastic as a paint though, just super toxic. Yeah, and it stays it stays white forever, doesn't it? All right. All right, we're going to try to clean that out as much as I can. A little bit of thinner. We'll just use thinner. 
see what happens. I can see little pieces of paint at the bottom of this. I think you mean to make me need to move on before the airbrush gets to you. Well, I think it's okay. But thank you for your concern. Because I haven't, there we go. There we go. All right, I think I finally got the last of that color out. All right, we can, we can, we can move on now. What I will do though, where's my little thing? I'm gonna take my yellow paint and I'm gonna finish this with some yellow paint because that will work just fine. That's already looking good. And I don't have to wear my mask when I'm painting. It's where Drop Dead Gorgeous comes from. Yes, it is, isn't it? Isn't it? Drop Dead Gorgeous. I don't know about that, but I think it, it makes a good story, doesn't it? Drop dead. All right. These little handlebar things do not get painted yellow, so I can leave that. I'm going to use a little bit of this pastel yellow to cover a little better. Pastel covers better because it has white in it, right? going to cover that black so much better. And then we can do another coat of our regular yellow over the top later. Just want to get that covered. Do one. Um, guys, if you have Hulu or if you have FX, I highly recommend that you check out the show, What We Do in the Shadows. It's based off of a New Zealand movie about vampires, and it's hilarious. And the TV show, I've, it's, I feel like it's as good, if not, I don't know if it's better, but it's definitely as good as the movie was. And um, the guy from the IT crowd... The, the boss from the IT crowd is in it. And it's really funny. All right, that's not nearly as smooth as I wanted it. We'll hit it with a hairdryer in a second here and do a couple layers. That's the thing about yellow. You're going to do a million layers or... Lead makeup would turn your skin gray over time, so you had to keep applying it to cover up your gray skin. <gasps> oh my gosh. Can you imagine dying of lead poisoning? You were considering airbrush for priming, smoother finish? Yes, it works really well for that model newbie. Watch shows? You haven't done that in ages? <laughs> we watch, I watch a lot of shows. I watch a lot of TV. It's one of my hobbies. Okay, I'm going to mute while I hair dry. Confirm. All right, we got unmuted. We're gonna go overhead. I'm gonna try painting on some of this ink. Oh, that's dirty. Hold on. The brush was dirty, so I contaminated my yellow. There we go. 
know this bit. Okay. We'll try this. There. That's nice. I like that yellow a lot. That is such a pretty yellow. We're gonna need another layer of yellow on top of this though. It's nice and satin. That's the thing about inks. They will probably, they'll probably dry satin on you. But that's okay. For this purpose. All right, I'm gonna get some more of this light. There we go. Did we pick a winner? Shall we pick a winner? Yeah, you did auto fire. Oh, we did, that's right, auto fire one. I have no memory. could have tricked me. We could have gotten another winner out, right? $30 is not ruining your $500. Right, exactly. You have a $500 airbrush? Which is which one is it, Lamunas? Oh, $30 is worth not ruining? Yes, I agree. Green Stuff World doesn't have a portable compressor. Yes, but I've heard that you can get the same thing on Harbor and Freight. Go look on Harbor and Freight. It's like they've just repackaged the exact same thing. So if you want a, ch a cheap compressor, a hand compressor, whatever, Harbor and Freight has the same thing. All right, that's looking okay. We need to add a little bit more. It's not as smooth as I'd like. I would not have primed that black at all if I would have. I might have to strip it. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Seen the battery on the battery one the other day and someone had one. You missed it? Yeah, you missed. Uh, who was the one who won? Uh, auto fire won, pun expected. Did I get my hands on the Giga Lion at Gen Con? I did, and we painted it already, and it was awesome, and we've just had a chance to play it recently um, in our home game. There we go. I probably should use a smaller brush for this bit. Yeah, let's use a smaller brush. JP Gecko 13 or JB Je JB Gecko, how are you? What kind of geckos? Do you have any geckos? We have geckos. We have two African fat tail geckos in our in our home. They live in this tank behind me right here. I think I might need to put some airbrush cleaner on this brush. There we go. You're going to used to have toke geckos. Oh, those are cool. Would you guys like to see the geckos? They're probably sleepy, but it is nighttime, so it's actually I should probably turn those lights off. Do you guys want to see the geckos? Yeah, you love the peppercorn mini. Yes, geckos. Your wife is scared of them, and now, and yes, show the geckos. Okay, we're going to show the geckos. I have to, um, I have to get a little water on my hands because they smell like like uh, gloves right now. I've got a little water right here I can put. Doo -doo. My geckos are very scent sensitive. They don't like weird smells. All right. Have you guys have you guys not seen them yet, Auto Fire? You haven't seen my geckos yet? Awesome, you're playing, your roommates are playing Magic the Gathering so you can't paint, oh no. All right, let's switch face here. 
Wait, here one second. I'm going to show you the overhead first. So the African fat tail geckos are very similar to the leopard gecko, but they're much sweeter and calmer and shyer also. They're a little bit shy. Okay, come here, peppercorn. Peppercorn is the shyest of these two. She likes being out the least, whereas, oh, she is dry looking. She needs a little bit of, so this is peppercorn, and this is ginger biscuit. See, they are so cute. Peppercorn is a year younger. She's a little bit smaller, although she's a little chunky right now. She's got, she's gained a lot of weight. She currently weighs two ounces, which is a lot. I think when we got them, she was 1.4 ounces and Ginger was 1.6 maybe, but now they're, they're pretty big. Yeah, they're, their names do suit them. They're really cute. Yeah, they're being so cute. Why is her skin so dry? I need to up the humidity in here. Let's put them back before they leap off my hands. Come here, you goofus. Come here, you goofus. All right, there we go. Put their little hide down. I'm gonna just give it a quick spray because get a little dry in here. They, they really like the humidity to be um, between 60 and 70 percent and it is right now it's at 54 percent so it's a little low. We'll give it another spray right before we go to bed. Got your yes my dubia I have dubia roaches and they have had babies and they're just doing crazy good. They are doing really well I'm pretty happy although I'm probably gonna have to do something with them because they um the geckos don't eat that much. They don't eat that nearly enough to, to warrant having a whole colony. So I'm probably going to end up selling my colony and just buying them every now and then. Got to say thank you so much for the Bondic suggestion for gap filling. Yes, good. I'm glad. Gigaline, yes, and it helps so well. It's, it helps so much, doesn't it? This is the reason why people don't like painting yellow right here. It's because it takes so dang long to get it the right color, right? Let's add some of those browns so that we can, let's do this here. Check out the dark den on YouTube. Oh, is that a, is that a, is that a gecko person? I'll have to check that out. You know what, there are no African fat tail gecko YouTubers that specifically, they all are leopard gecko people. There's a lot of leopard gecko people, but not very many African fat tail people on YouTube. That's cute, I like that. Trying to shade my little cage bands there. It's not working. Let's do this. All right, my glasses are off for a second. Um, I feel like I need to redo this whole cage. I might have to throw it in some stripper. We'll see what happens. Okay. That's better. All right, that's much better. Ah, I dropped it. 
I don't want to, yeah, I don't want a tarantula. I'm not a spider person. I don't, I like spiders outside. That's where spiders go. They eat, they eat roaches, they do. Oh, for, oh, dark dendas, yeah. I think I've seen them. They, they're pretty cool. Brown to dirty it up a bit, yeah. I think the roll cage would be one of the more weathered. Let me look at the, let me look at the, um, the reference real quick. Yeah, that would be darker, wouldn't it? Hmm, and I need my orange back too. Let's try a little bit of orange. Ooh, I like that. A little bit of orange. I think you're right about dirtying it up a little bit. Just a smidge of that orange. Yeah, there we go. That looks cool. That looks a little bit realistic too. I like that. Let's do a little bit of orange, a little bit of brown, see what happens. I like that. Okay. Little again, little orange, little brown. This is something I wish I would have airbrushed, but I'm kind of like air like Rarity Wolf said, I'm kind of done with the airbrush tonight. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. This is supposed to be... Ooh, I like that. This is the intensity. Intensity acts a little bit more... It's like it's it gets turns into a gel. There we go. We'll get to the orange. Much better. There we go. All right, let me check back on chat. All right, thanks, Lamunas. Have a good one. How about how about a toke? Uh, <laughs> yeah, toke are mean, aren't they? I'm so used to my sweet, my sweet um, African fat tails. I think if we were going to get another gecko, it would be another African fat tail, to be honest, because they're really easy to take care of. Um, we just need another setup because these two. These two are used to each other, but another one might cause issues, and I think it'd be best to not cohab a third one. I don't like that at all. Now I, it looks so dirty and nasty. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna break out the gloves again. I'm gonna try airbrushing again. This time I'm gonna try the Steinal Res Primer instead. Oh, am I out of gloves? Are you kidding me? Oh, I have a couple over here. Good, good, good. I have one glove. We'll just use one glove on my non-brush hand. And the Steinal Res. Steinal Res goes through the brush really nicely. We'll use it instead of the white paint. Did I get the Monument? I did, and I packed them already, so I would be using those, but like I said, I packed them. Little thinner, just a smidge. Oh, there we go. There is a little bit of white paint still in that. Sorry, you guys, I bumped the camera. All right, let's try a little bit of this Dino Res. Hmm. Lots of purples. Oh, in the, in the toque? Oh, that is going on so much nicer than that white paint was. I'm already happier. Hold on, I'm gonna put my mask on. It is a fat tail, not just a, a gecko with a fat tail. Yeah, 
African fat tail gecko is what it's called. They're not, yeah, they're not handy right now, or I would use them. This is what's so nice about the airbrush, is you can, you can fix stuff relatively easy with it. And we're putting primer over paint and it's going right on like a dream because it's primer, not paint. And I'm also sort of trying to dry it while I'm painting it, which is another advantage of uh, this certain kind of airbrush. It's a, all right, let's put that down. All right, let that dry. Whew, that's so much better. Okay, now this is designed for Badger products. So hopefully this will work much more, much more easily. So, model newbie. We got globbies because we were using scale color paint and we used the paint killer which that's what made globbies oh and we also put we put paint straight in whereas primer that was this primer is designed to go in a in a badger airbrush this uh, thinner was designed everything is designed to go together whereas the other stuff maybe not so much yeah, Let's, I mean, I might still have some of the same issues because there might be a little bit of leftover from before, but it's already cleaning out so much faster than the white paint is. And I, like I said, I think, yeah, there's a few globs on there, but I'm gonna keep dumping it. Dump and clean, dump and clean. Yeah, why I think, so here's the thing about this Badger Steinle Res. Just use it as paint. Like you don't ever need to use white paint if you use that primer because it's awesome. And it dries matte, right? So that's what I'm gonna try to do from now on. Yeah. So we tried a different tactic. There is still paint on the on the needle here. But it's coming out. Really dump. It's it's a little bit clogged again. White is a pain, and it's like one of the ones, oh, that's why I didn't have it all the way. Every Is it time for a stretch? I could use a stretch. Oh, there we go. See, now that. Death Vince, thank you for the follow. How are you? I like that name, Death Vince. How is the Steinle Res? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, look at this. This is all done with Steinle Res. It's beautiful. It doesn't ever speckle on me. I believe that there's a company in Europe that makes a version of Steinle Res. It's called something else, but it's basically the same thing. Good, I'm glad you're doing good. 
We just showed off my geckos. We've been painting this awesome power lift chair with our little Chibi Ripley in it. This is Chibi Ripley in our power chair. And then we've got this so cute little queen and these little, and what are they called again? They're called um, oh, xenomorphs. There we go. It is xenomorphs. We're also, we're also struggling with the airbrush tonight. We've been airbrushing a lot. I can see a blob of paint on the needle. There we go. Oh my goodness. That had yellow on it still. So there's still yellow back in the, in the back of that brush. I might have to do a full clean out. I'm probably gonna have to do a full clean out. I do have a schmutz problem. Absolutely. Tonight is a schmutz night. UMP and MIG one shot are the same. Yeah. Is it? Same primer as Stinyl Res? Isn't it always like that? Showing, showing stuff with airbrush. I know. Yep. All right, but it's coming out. We can throw some ink in this now and hope that the ink doesn't. Let's, let's this time, here's, I'm gonna do what I should have done. I'm gonna go and grab a little cup and I'm gonna mix some thinner and some ink so that I'm going to put the ink in. There we go. I'm gonna put that ink in with the thinner. Don't forget to move the minis out of the way, thank you. I'm not like Mike, I don't give away a million points to people like that, I give away five. It's all you get. All right, I'm gonna mix my ink and then I'm gonna apply it with my brush just like Aaron Lovejoy always told, tells. He says like, ooh, that still had some chunks. But there's less chunks when you use a brush to add it. There we go. See, I don't see those chunks. Hopefully it won't clog this time. Okay. Whew, almost dumped my whole dump pot on my lap. All right. It's rebranded Badger Primer. It's easier for, yeah, that's awesome to know. So Bullos just said that if you wanna get Steinal Res, buy the MIG, which one was it? UMP and MIG, one, uh, one shot, are the same primers. Right. All right, we're gonna do slow. Oh, so much better. And it sticks so much better to the primer too. Much, much better. It's very white. So much better this time. There we go. All the white is glowing. UMP is Ultimate Modeling Products. Okay, good to know. I didn't know that. I never used those products, so I am glad that other people are able to get that in the countries. All right, that is so much better now. It's going to go much better. Let's flip it like that. Okay, now I can add my brown, and again, I'm gonna add thinner. Can we add the orange first? Let's do orange, let's just do a drop of orange.
That's better. Just a little bit of orange. Missed out on what tip did Aaron, he said to add with the brush to your cup. And what it does is these, especially if it's a bigger brush than this one, if you add from the brush, it catches all the little goobers. And actually a bigger brush like this is probably better. Catches all the goobers and acts like a filter, like baleen on a, on a whale. <laughs> and it, your brush clogs a whole lot less. Trying to get that orange to come through. There we go. A little bit. It's looking better. Okay. Now, ooh, that's drying. Let's throw a little bit of spray through in there. You buy your Steinal res from Slow Fuse Preacher Caster because they have white, gray, and black as a pack. Okay. And it lasts a whole year. That's cool. I didn't think that, I thought that Creature Caster was going to be coming out with their own primer in the future. Maybe they have a deal. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. There we go. All right. Now we can add a little brown to our mix. Ooh, look at how chunky that is. Let's add a little brown to this. Now that's already clogged. Oh, they aren't carrying third party anymore, so. Yeah, so you're gonna have to get, well, I've heard rumors, Creature Caster can attest that they're, they're working on a formula of, of a primer that's gonna be comparable or, or be able to rival, right? I think that was the rumor. Wait, wait, show she's on and you missed it. Oh no, I'm still here for another half hour. You're good. Let's, I'm just gonna put a drop of that. There we go. All right, this is the brown. We're airbrushing Ty, look at this. Look at how cute this little power chair is. And this is our alien that goes with it and our chibi, chibi Ripley right here she's gonna be in the chair <laughs> all right that's good I need to get this to the point where it's not there we go Hitting that. Oh, I managed to get something on my. There we go. I'm kind of just shading it now. So it actually looks more yellow than it did. Good, okay. Now, I can rinse. There are several supplemental products that we think are important. Primer. Primer washes, mediums, varnishes. Yes, awesome, so excited. We have a lot of things. So, Creature Caster, you need to tell me about these um, transparents because when I've been using them, they don't act like an ink and they don't act like 
they act unlike any other product I've used, but they, they do go on. Like they're somewhere in between an ink and a paint. Is that the way they're meant to be formulated? Now you're gonna probably say yes. We have lots of things in development. We don't wanna make any promises. Okay, no, I get you. That's why I said rumor has it. Oh, don't worry, Model Newbie. They give me lots of stuff to give away. I've been giving away more stuff each time. That's why um, we have a monthly giveaway and it's almost always Creature Caster because they give me stuff. They're one of my best sponsors, to be truthful. That's why you see me um, talking about them so much. Like I, you know, I like to give back as much as they give. And I do like, I do like their paints a, t a ton. I've been using them a lot. But I'm really curious about these, uh, these transparents because they seem, they seem like an ink. Yes, they basically are a filter. So they act just like a paint, but they have a transparent pigments. So whatever's underneath will show through to a different degree. Yeah, that's, I don't think, I honestly don't think there's anything out there like it, except for, you know, you have to hunt through each brand to find the transparency. But I really, I really like that about them because especially for metallic metals, transparent paint is perfect. All right, I mean, I mean, gotta clean out the last of this or else I'll, I'm gonna have, there we go. All right, it's coming out. So Artie Wolf says, from what I understand, watching Slow Fuse, that they are an acrylic paint with a different chemical makeup, not a wash, not an ink. Yeah, that's why I like them because they don't dry shiny. They dry like a paint. Maher and, yeah, and I do a lot of filtering and so does James Wapple. Like we're both watercolorists and I think, I don't know if Maha's a watercolorist, but we paint like watercolorists. All right, I'm gonna leave that. It's something we used in more traditional art and we wanted to bring over to the miniature world. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, so we got our little cage finally painted the way I wanted it. So much better than it was going. And so now I'm gonna very, very carefully add the black. I'm gonna add a little water to my black because it's gotten dried on my palette a little bit. All right. Now I'm gonna paint these little handlebars. Ooh. Maha says, a lot of my early training was oil. Okay. Yeah, I, w I knew it was you were a traditional painter, but I didn't know whether it was acrylics or oils or, I had a feeling it wasn't watercolors. Oil, I could never finish an oil. They just were, it's just, they drove me crazy because I would sit and pick at it and pick at it and pick at it. And by the time I finished it, they were all the, all the spontaneity and it, you know, all my oils always looked kind of stiff, if that makes sense. They weren't painterly. We can work, they can work as washes. They can also work as candy coat. Oh, very cool. Okay. That looks cute. Tonight on, on tonight's stream, we will watch Shoshi paint this cage 10 times. <laughs> Shush you. Did you see what he said? Mm. <laughs> I only painted it twice for your information. It just wasn't looking good. Now it's looking good, see? Because I used the primer instead of the, the white, which was I'm just trying to show people that if you make a mistake, it's fixable. Don't freak out. You don't have to strip everything a million times, especially if you have an airbrush. <laughs> <laughs> but
But to use them as a wash, you really need some sort of flow improver medium. I've been using um, a little bit of mixing medium from P3, but I'm looking forward to seeing if you guys come out with some, and I know you will, come out with some mediums to be able to use with it. awfully dang cute it is it is so that is gonna go like this so those line up so these these bars right here line up with the cage right there and we'll put that on after we get Ripley in it what is filtering and how does it compare to layering or applying washes? Okay, let's show you. So again, filtering, like you've got this yellow, right? And then I've got a little bit of thing, and I'm gonna filter it. It's similar to washes. That's sort of a filter over my yellow right there. And the way, see how that filtered it? The way the transparents work is like this is an ink, so this will dry a little shiny or a little satin. Whereas the the uh, the transparent paints they dry like a paint, so they dry matte and they won't be shiny. Yeah, and Ma Maha says it's where you use thin washes of color, like kind of like stained glass. Imagine stained glass, but it's like it acts as a filter for light, right? <laughs> no problem. Maha said, "I like I will add a filter to a slight aug to slightly aug augment augment something that you've already shaded, but is close to something else or doesn't bounce enough. That that they don't they're not really sure what you mean by bounce. But now I have to dirty it up to match the loader. That's true. Let's see. Ooh, I just noticed there's a little bit of." We've got to add a little bit more yellow back. Let's do this down in there. All right, it's kind of dirty. We kind of dirtied it a little bit already. We can do some more. Let's add. See, if I had those transparent paints, I need, wouldn't need to worry about how that's laying. Oh, you see what I just did? I just ripped a hole in my filter. <laughs> I ripped a hole in my filter. So that's the other thing. I don't think, I think that the uh, transparent paints are a little bit more durable. And speaking of dirtying up, I do have this paint is coming off from the glove. Let me take this off. Some paint is coming off so I can make it look like I did it on purpose. Let's get a little piece of sponge. And I'm going to texturize that just a little bit. Where's my sponge? There it is. So I always keep on hand a little piece of blister sponge. And what I'm gonna do on this loader is take a little bit of kind of rusty paint. Let's do, let's do orange leather. And I'm just gonna, wherever I got, wherever my gloves rubbed off, I'm just gonna, hopefully this will work. We're gonna dab it. There we go, that'll be, we're gonna make some rust. There we go, that's perfect. So it hid, it's gonna hide those mistakes that I made. Hopefully make it look like it's rust, rusty or chipped. That's not bad. Ooh, that's cool. Added some even darker spots right there. 
And then I just wiped off. We're gonna paint this 10 times, just like Diomede said. Ugh. Let me go ahead and get that black also. Things are not behaving because I'm touching things. Don't touch it. All right, all right, all right. See, it's coming off of my fingers. 10 times, <laughs> 10 times. So Alex King, sa Alex King says, I don't like using oil in minis because I would 100% have smeared it. Yes, yes, I, and I would have as well, I agree. I'm already struggling to, um, to not get this everywhere. Right? All right, that's gonna be better. There we go. All right. I think, I think we're gonna t not leave, we're gonna leave that. All right, then let's paint the base. We're gonna, I want the base to be, have this kind of orangey, orangey red texture on it. Blow dry real quick, yeah, <laughs> blow dry it. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna let it air dry a little bit while I paint the base. Let's do, I think I'm using this reddish Indian shadow. If I can get it to come out and then I need a little bit of, hmm, let's do some Arbuckles Brown in that. Just to pop that color. And a little bit of, a little bit of orange. We'll try it. Orange has a, wait, I'm, I'm missing all kinds of chat. <laughs> Creature Caster says to Rebel Star Raider and Model Newbie, really it's similar, It really it is similar techniques, but with the transparent paint, it doesn't move to the recesses like washes because the pigment is transparent. You don't have to thin it like you would with a glaze, so it remain, maintains its vibrancy, yes. And if you want it to go into the recesses, you can add some medium. Am I right? All right, so that's kind of the color I need, yep. All right, I'm gonna paint the, the oh yeah, that looks good actually. Kind of wanted a reddish, almost Mars-like surface. Plus, it, um, this reddish color will bring out all of our shadows really nicely on our vehicle. Oh my gosh, don't you think it'd be so funny if I entered this into ordinance? <laughs> that would be funny. I've never painted a vehicle before. This might be my first one. If you want to bring down the vibrancy, um, you can turn the transparent into a glaze or wash using mediums. That's what I said, yep. So just really control the technique that you're using. Another way to think of it is that glazes and washes and layering are just different ways of applying a filter. Yep. In this respect, transparents would be glazing techniques as they apply evenly. Yes. Typically glazes are either gradiated, which means that they go from light to dark, or they're even across the board. That's looking cool as heck, isn't it? Everyone, I went to art school with blow dryers for acrylic painting. <laughs> you did. I think we definitely had blow dryers in watercolor because, you know, you would need to make that stuff dry quickly. And you could also make the watercolor paper keep from rippling with a blow dryer. This is looking good. I'm happy with this color.
Maharun says, oil has a sense of filtering with putting a layer of opposite color of acrylic as a base to allow for deeper shades to be developed. Oh, yes. Black Skull says, will Shoshi ever complete the load lifter? Will Mike have a nervous schmutz breakdown? Will 20 be 20 times be the magic number? <laughs> Tune in next stream, same Shoshi time, same Shoshi channel. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Will I paint the loner 20 times? <coughs> I think, Mike, do you have the schmutz, do you have schmutz bro breakdowns? Not only if I get it on stuff that's in the house. Okay. Uh, I don't have schmutz breakdowns. I have like things being left around breakdowns. Yeah. Here. All right, let's do the edges of the base. <laughs> schmutz. Shoji has said schmutz 13 many times. <laughs> you guys are funny. Model newbie needs a better job to start making trips to Shy Town again. Yeah. Are you going to come to, you need to come to Dragonfall Con. Um, I'll be at Dragonfall Con. It's going to be in October, I think. Yeah, it's in October. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to make it because it was so close to ReaperCon, but they talked me into it. And I'll be teaching a couple classes at it. All right, that looks cute. I like that. Let's do, did I get the, I didn't get the bases for these guys. I figured what I could do at ReaperCon is pick a couple of these, enter them in Chibi just to have something entered. We gotta get the base for her since I'm using the same color. You found a you found round trip tickets for seventy five dollars, but it's usually in January. Yeah, isn't that how it always is when, right when nobody wants to go? January is a, a miserable time to visit Chicago. Okay, this is better. Will Will Creature Caster make more awesome models? Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> Don't say, don't stay up late painting tonight if you're flying out tomorrow morning. Why? You're not a boss of me. No. <laughs> Rebel Star Raider. Yes, mini painting has so much complexity, but the whole Pro Curl line is designed for easy use out of the bottle. I love that. So uh, last night I was putting um, my Pro Curls away in my carry case. Um, for ReaperCon and I noticed that they're numbered and I wanted to know from Creature Caster, are you going to be trying to keep those numbers like so that, you know, they make sense with your current line or is it just gonna be, because like, I know you're gonna be adding some other colors in the future. How's that gonna work? Model says, Model Newbie says, I loved it in January. It was 20 degrees. Oh, that's right. You like winter. <laughs> and my friend in Forest Park was colder than you were. Oh my gosh. I, you, you can handle it. I cannot. I'm going to add some more decay black. You need some sleep. We do care about our, our teacher. Ask Mike about how much I, I sleep. 
I don't know, because you're still in bed when I leave for work. Oh. oh. So I sleep. I just sleep in the mornings. But yeah, I am getting up early. So we're getting up very early, actually. Yeah. I'll sleep on the plane. <laughs> yeah, it must be nice. I have to go to work. Well. I'll try to take you. You better give me good I, kisses. Really. I gotta get stuff done. I will always give you kisses. All right, there we go. She's good. She's all set. One more of these guys. Oh, I gotta paint that one. <laughs> you didn't think I ever slept. I know, I'm, I, Bolos, I'm always keeping Australian hours, aren't I? Bolos is always um, sending me pictures of what he's been working on, and then I always happen to be awake, and he's in Australia, so that just tells you I, like, keep Australian hours. He's like, go to bed. Man, Mike, the salt is real. <laughs> Diomedes. <laughs> salt, I know. That's you know, married people always have salt. So what's funny? No, not flying or already wolf. No, it's yeah. way too far. Yeah, it's, it's cheaper to take the airline. So from my town to Dallas, it's straight, straight through. I don't do any connections, and um, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good price. So I like that I can fly straight out of my own town. Although I have done connecting flights through Chicago, although it seems silly to go to Chicago to get to Dallas, but you know, I've done that too. All right, that's good. Make sure, let's just do Ripley while we're at it. We'll have to paint her before I, before I leave. Or I can paint her tomorrow, too. That's the other possibility. I can take my paints and work on her tomorrow at the con. Yeah, it would be about a uh, five and a half hour flight. Creature Caster says, I think the SKU number will just keep adding on so they won't change. But it isn't necessarily the best identifier in terms of what transparent and what's not. We do have a plan for that. Oh, good. Yeah, because sometimes you grab a paint and it's it's a transparent, and you're like, whoops, that was meant to be the regular one. I just keep them separate. I keep them separate on my paint station, and that way I don't get them mixed up. I keep them with my, my intensity inks. All right, last, last bits of things here on the base. I like to use decay black on bases because it's satin, so it dries a little shiny. And I think it looks really nice and polished once I finish that. Might need one more coat after this, though. There we go. Am I done? I think. That one's black. Little cat hair. I put a little stick tack on the bottom of the queen because she was really heavily overbalanced. All right, this one needs painted. I like that you guys like it when I paint different stuff. It makes it a lot more fun. I mean, you know me, I get bored, so I like to paint Lots of different things. Okay. One more thing. All right. I think we're about done. It is nine o'clock. Let's, let's look for somebody to host. Before I do that, I want to do our exclamation point, mad love. Which means Thank you. Yes, I'm gonna. Ho I'm hopefully gonna share a lot of my stuff um, on my social media. So keep an eye on that. If you follow me on anything else, it's probably at Shoshi's Minis. All right, go ahead and copy and paste that. Let's find somebody to host. 
who is on right now? I will see. Today is Wednesday, so it could be potluck right now, actually. Crocodile is on. Next level is on. Um, key lime is on. I like crocodile. Crocodile is painting a warhammer, so let's 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 go ahead and and raid him. Keep in mind that Crocodile is Australian, so he could have Australian words that we don't use in the U.S. So, <laughs> all right, real quick, I'm going to do my outro music here. There we go. Mad love to you guys all. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll be back on Monday. I won't be streaming on Friday. I'll be at ReaperCon and um, my regular Monday time. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.